So I said in the description of my last depth gameplay that I happened to kick off this month of videos in a rather weird way. And now here we are on Primal Carnage Extinction and the question I'm asking myself is, how am I going to kick off this epic adventure of videos? Hmm, how about like this? Do I know how to kick off a series of videos, or do I know how to kick off a series of videos? Yours truly here, playing the all but notoriously buggy early access that is Primal Carnage Extinction. And as I'm expected to do, I'm here to talk about my thoughts and opinions of what I think of the current build of the game. Well that and just how this game is in general. Things like bugs and glitches, I'll go report on the forums, but I have some few bugs and glitches I want to showcase in this video for the sake of getting a visual perspective on some of the bugs and glitches that are in this game. Now, on to the topic of the video, what I think of Primal Carnage Extinction, starting with my general thoughts. Outside of bugs and glitches, I think this game is great. If it wasn't for all the bugs, glitches, and somewhat poor optimization, I would say this game is 90% better than 1.3. I'd say 90% because I still have criticisms as to what the current build of the game contains, but I'll get onto that in a moment. One notable change I really like about this game, and you can clearly see it in this video, is the much, 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 much faster paced gameplay. The original Primal Carnage has been noted for its pretty chaotic gameplay, and with this new faster paced gameplay, it now amplifies the amount of chaos that can happen in matches. I also like the new user interface system. I do think it is not only better looking than the original games, but it's also way simpler and way more organized. I can't say too much for the loadout or drop system for this game as both are pretty lacking right now but I'm sure once development continues on this game both of them paired up together will be excellent. That sums up all my thoughts on the game in general now we're going to be talking about the current build. More specifically the classes. All of the classes in Primal Carnage Extinction have been reworked both human and dinosaurs. I'm not going to be going too in depth on this like I would a patch details video, but I will be quickly summarizing on how every class feels in this game. Starting with the Pathfinder. He sucks, that's good, amen. Actually, not good. I understand why they made him so weak because a lot of us were so irritated with how powerful he was in 1.3 but I don't think turning his one shot cannon of mass destruction into a marshmallow gun was a way to go about this issue. In my opinion, I think the Pathfinder should have his health nerfed from 150 to 135 and he would need a really close distance in order to one-shot smaller dinosaurs. Anything outside of that range will do moderate or massive amounts of damage. Again, just in my opinion, but if they have any other ideas of what they can do to make him stronger, do it. 
just by all means buff the Pathfinder. Next on our list is the Commando, and as you guys can see in this gameplay, he is a functioning class. He is way more accurate, way more consistent, and best of all, his grenades kill now. Well, I don't know now, maybe they do need a decrease in power, but overall Commando is fine. No, scratch that. This is the best Commando has been since 1.1. Next on our list is the Scientist, but before I talk about her as a class, I just want to mention something I noticed while playing as her, then began to notice when playing around with the other classes, is all semi-automatic weapons in Primal Carnage Extinction hit dead center middle of the screen. There's no longer a random bullet pattern within a really tight crosshair, it hits the middle of the screen 100% of the time. And in the case of the sniper rifle for scientists, it does exactly that, but that doesn't matter. What matters is how does she play as a class in this game? I feel she's practically no different than what she was in 1.3, so I think she's alright. She's one of the better classes to play as in this game. As for her trank gun, I don't have too much say on that because I don't whip it out and try to kill dinosaurs with it all the time, so... I'll get back to you guys on that one if Trank Gun needs nerfed or buffed, but I feel Scientist as a whole is fine. There is no need to tamper with her. She is okay the way she is. Next on our list is the Pyro, and he is absolute weak sauce. The only thing that does reasonable amount of damage is his flamethrower. Everything else sucks. The flare gun sucks. The Molotovs sucks. The chainsaw? About as effective as you trying to kill a rhino by scratching it with a twig. Lots of buffs are needed for the pyro. Nuff said. Next on our list is the trapper, and before I talk about him, I just want to throw out there, in order to knife a netted dinosaur, you need to walk up to it and push right mouse button. Kinda weird how they did that, but seeing how there are no melee weapons integrated into the game yet, F key's new function is to use your throwable items. Anyways, on the trapper now, I like what they did with his net gun where he's got a more painfully long reload. This makes his net gun way less of a nuisance as if he misses, he's pretty much done. I think his net flies faster now, I don't know, maybe it's just about the same, I haven't played with them too much to see a difference in how much faster the nets fly in the air, but again, I love what they did with the net gun, I think it should stay the way it is. As for the pistols, those need buffed in either A, damage, B, fire rate, or both. Because I feel with the damage output it has now combined with the fire rate, it makes them feel really, really weak. I tested them with a subscriber not too long ago, and we found out that Trapper Pistols take 8 shots to the body of a raptor, and 6 to the head to kill it. That shouldn't sound too bad, but that means if you miss 5 out of the 12 bullets in its magazine, the Raptor is likely to run away to get more health while you're slowly reloading the revolvers. So again, buff to the pistols would be excellent. That pretty much wraps up all of the human classes, though one more thing I want to throw out there. I also think that the secondary deagle for all the classes should be buffed as well, again in either fire rate or damage. And yeah, now we can get on with the dinosaur classes, but before we get on to them, I just want to say that the camera angles for all dinosaur classes are bad. The camera is pulled way too far back, and I would much appreciate it if they went with the original cameras like they were in the original game. Now that I got that out of the way, let's move on with the first of the dinosaur classes, the Tyrants. They are nerfed to perfection. My only problem with them now is they still often tend to bite you in spots where they should not have even reached you to begin with. Whether if you be like by their sides or up in an area where you swear they can't reach you but up oh, they got you anyway. But other than that I think tyrants should stay as they are right now. Next on our list is the raptors and 
Oh boy. They are so bad. They are practically unplayable right now. The one change I do applaud for them to making on the Raptor is nerfing the Pounce. <laughs> nerfing the slash damage, however, uncalled for. I feel the slash damage should be the same like it was in the original game where it takes four slashes to kill all human classes. I didn't keep track with how much slashes it takes now, but trust me guys, it takes a lot. It doesn't help either that there's a delay in between each slash. Think of it like the 1.3 anti-bunny hopping, but for raptor slashes. And the Q roar doesn't do much to counter this cause at all either. So much like the trap hoop pistols, raptor slashes need a buff in both damage and attack speed. Next on our list are the pterosaurs, and they're OP. They're so OP, guys. I find 1.3 Tyrant Armor more forgiving than how powerful these pterosaurs are. They fly so freaking fast, and they can carry you at the same speeds in which they can fly at that you are dead before you have any time to react. And what makes it even worse is often humans would just magnetize into their hands. And in case you guys don't believe me, I'm going to be showing video proof at the end alongside all the other bugs and glitches I said I show near the end of the video of this sort of stuff happening. So all in all, Terra needs a huge speed increase in both flying speeds and grabbing speeds. Next on my list is the Dilo, and much like the Trank Gun, this is something I haven't played around with too much to make a whole lot of comments on. I could say they should make his bite do a little bit more damage, but again, I haven't played around with him enough to say the things he needs to make him a better class. Last on our list is the Carnotaur, and while I think the damage on his attacks are fine, his health is fine, he too also moves way too fast. Much like the Terra, I think he needs a speed and maneuverability reduction as well for the sake of making it a little bit easier on the humans and himself. You see, I think he moves and maneuvers so quick in this game that one wrong turn can easily swerve you into walls, poles, and other obstacles that can get you stuck for a few seconds. Heck, I've had instances where I've had trouble trying to ram in the humans he turns and moves so quick. Which, I guess when I put it like that, it makes it sound like his speed is alright, but trust me guys, once you see how it plays in games, you would agree that it is a tad bit unfair. That's all the rants I have for now, I will be doing more thoughts and opinion videos as more updates push out for early access, and I hope to see some of the problems I talk about in these thoughts and opinion videos fixed as updates come out. If you guys have any agreements or disagreements about some of the things I ranted about in this video, please leave a comment down below and drop this video a like, and I'll be seeing you all in the soon to come many videos of Primal Carnage Extinction. Take care and have a good one guys.